Hi, Lisa here with a little bit of basement poetry. This poem was inspired by one of my friends. Naming things. All of these papers, like so many lost trails, a mountain of where am I, stacked high on the table. Mess. Muddy footprints pressed into the lawn from all the steps trodden, forward and back and back and forward, but never given a path of stone leading clean to the front door of the home. Deterioration. The way you roll your eyes fill in the space with an attitude of crossed arms, shrugged shoulders, no words, and your vehement despise. Aggressively passive. A phone call five minutes after the repairman was supposed to show and ten minutes after I finished scrubbing the floor so he wouldn't know that I usually don't. Frustration. Or the heating guy who promised he'd be there told us not to worry your tank will never run low and your fire will burn warm and then it didn't and he wasn't. Abandoned. The swing of a vehicle into my lane without the courtesy of a light causing me to slam on the brakes and grip the steering wheel tight, white knuckled, with swear words settling on the roof of my mouth only to burst forth from the dam later when my child thoughtlessly grabs the remote from my hand? Eruption. All of the ways the world around me shifts, changes, moves without letting me know and I can't handle the fact that you left the fucking cupboard door open. Like so many things unfinished, like so many things I can't name, bearing our inside things, like the way the doctor delivered the news with crossed arms in the cold room, changing the trajectory of our lives, removing the vision of our future, pointing us toward a messy path up an impossible mountain to a place where I cannot follow you. To a place I can't stay. To a place I'm scared to name. To a place I can't go again. To the very thing I can't say. Fear.